Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, I would like to first thank Ortiz and Amy and Dr. Spicer for coming up with this great um, concept for exhibition. And I would like to say how honored I am to be in the show with such excellent artists whose careers I've been following for some time now. So thank you. Um, when um, everyone was meeting this summer uh, with Dr. Spicer, um, I was in Detroit doing a residency. And um, it was my first time going to Detroit since leaving in 2000, but being there more than two or three days. And so I did get the video, but what was really great is um, the DIA is in Detroit, the Detroit Institute of Art, and they have an excellent um, Renaissance collection there. So the works that I created for this exhibition um, was both inspired by the work in the DIA, but also being back in Detroit because um, being in Detroit, I have really mixed emotions being there because you know Detroit is really struggling right now. And so, um, not necessarily these works I'm going to present, but um, the works that that's on this wall. Um, if you look at them, you can see that they are a little brash, and that sort of exemplifies my sort of frustration that I have with being in the city. Um, so this piece, Wings Not Meant to Fly, was actually created um, prior to this exhibition or before um, I was even in this exhibition. And what's really awesome is um, when I first had in my, well, the first idea that I have in my, in my head was um, I want to really investigate the lives of, you know, the African women during the, the Renaissance. But I felt that there, there was a lack of information very limited information. And I even talked to Dr. Spicer about it, and she said not only is it um, challenging to find like in-depth information on African women, but women in general at that time. And so um, if anyone is familiar with my work, both uh, my work is mainly um, autobiographical, not necessarily about my life, but about the women in my family. Um, I feel that the women in my family, just because of their lifestyle choices, that they were really obscured by society. And so looking at this piece, for instance, Portrait of an African Slave Woman, um, we don't know much about this woman that beyond her being a slave. And again, I felt that because their um, stories and, and lives were so obscured just by looking at these paintings, it sort of correlates really well uh, with my work. Because again, it's sort of sense of invisibility, um, hence the my black on black pieces as well. And so Wings Not Meant to Fly um, is just about the expectations of being a black woman. Um, for instance, with my family. So um, my family were, um, unfortunately, um, my, my mother and aunt were drug addicts. But if someone was to look at them on the street, you wouldn't expect much from them. And so this is what this piece sort of represents. And even again, looking at this slave woman, um, you're not going to expect that much from her. Um, so, um, this piece, it could be a sad story. Again, this was created um, prior to this exhibition. But again, it, it falls along the same lines of this sense of obscurity. You don't know much about her story, and again, this is more um, about my family. But um, one of the things that I really enjoy about this piece is the, the ambiguous expression that she has. Um, you don't know if she's upset or you don't know if she's kind of, you know, in her deep thought or whatnot. And so the title of this piece is, It Could Be a Sad Story, because, you know, it could be a sad story or maybe not. It's probably a, a wonderful story. And um, again, while doing this exhibition, um, I began to examine um, how did the Renaissance influence me as, or how does it influence me as an artist? And one of the things is definitely um, the opulence and this sort of idolized um, version of beauty. And if um, most of my figures that I create, all the women sort of look similar. And you know, that's one of the traits of the Renaissance. And um, that's about it. Thank you.